guys, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm back with PW Torch Rant and Rave. Here we go. Here we go. What I'm ranting about this time, guys, save me, please. The I'm a fan storylines in NXT, save me, please, 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 please save me from these storylines, okay? We've got three of them going on right now at the same damn time in NXT. Cora Jade, Roxanne Perez, and Nathan Frazier. All at the same time. Like, what the heck are we doing here? First of all, making it to the WWE or NXT or whatever wrestling company, it's it's a great story. There's no doubt. But look, it's not a television story that can, should be replicated over and over and over again. If that's if you reveal that as a key story for your audience on the very first day that, hey, you're living your dream and you've accomplished your life goal since you're 10 years old to, to be in the WWE, like what? What journey are you on? Why should people invest if you're telling them that, well, that's it. I'm here and that's it. And so be happy. I'm happy. So you should be happy. There's no point to watch you from that point on. The idea of living my dream is is a personal one. It's a personal dream. And like everybody who's talking about that should be very proud of that. No question. But it can't be an actual storyline on television. What about, you know, I don't know, the championship, the titles? Is that is that not the goal? Like all directions on the shows typically point in that direction. Even in WWE, even in NXT, you have the NXT championship defined as something important and something that people want to have. Um, so all directions point towards that, yet it's shocking how little the writing and these new characters that are being introduced – Factor that in when they make their debut. They brush it off. Like it was a big deal when when Cody Rhodes came on Monday Night Raw after WrestleMania and said, Hey, like I'm here to win the title. Like that was kind of like jarring, but it shouldn't be. It absolutely shouldn't be. It's shocking how little these new stars uh talk about that. And you know, the quote marks around stars. <laughs> They were on purpose. They were. Because look, can you imagine The Rock talking like that in 1999? Can you imagine Austin with some kind of like similar verbiage and words about just being happy to be a WWE uh, at the start of his King of the Ring 1996 promo? Triple H in 2000. Hogan at the start of his run. Like Ric Flair at the start of his run. Like you keep it going yourself. Just start rattling off big names in the industry. And the answer you'll have is no, they didn't talk like that. Stars don't talk like that. You have to have an aura of assuming that you're going to be there and make it and own your spot. So look, there's case studies all around that, <laughs> that it's hard to make tip top stars when that is the starting point for, for your narrative. You know, the proof is in the pudding. Austin, Rock, Triple H, Hogan, on and on and on and on. You didn't hear this type of thing from them. Cut it out. I think there has to be at least a five-year ban on this storyline in NXT from now on. All right? Got it? Okay. Deep breath, Zach. Deep breath. <laughs> Rant over. I'm PW Torch Assistant Editor Zach Kador. Like, comment. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Am I crazy? Do I need to calm down? Let me know in the comments. Thanks very much. We'll catch you guys next time.